commentary, entertainment, sports, news, and opinion. Now, here is Steve Malsberg. All right, folks, what you were just watching was a pro-Hamas mob uh, going after a uh, highly decorated U.S. Marine sergeant and Iraq War veteran, Sergeant Manny Vega. And uh, I am very happy to say that exclusively with us right now is Sergeant Vega. Sergeant, thank you so much for, for, for taking time out of your, 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 your job to do this. We really appreciate it, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. All right. Let me ask you uh, what you were, this as I believe was in proximity to the White House. It took place on Saturday. It was a pro-Hamas rally. Uh, you and some others, uh, pro-Israel people with, uh, some had Israeli flags, were there. Explain why you came and what happened. No problem. I'd be glad to. On uh, Friday, I'm, I live here in Furniture, Virginia, and I'm a delivery driver, and I listen on the radio on WMAL here in Washington, that there was going to be a pro-Palestinian Hamas uh, gathering in front of the White House on Saturday at 1 o'clock. I made it an effort to buy an Israeli flag down in Richmond because the flag store in Fredericksburg, Virginia, ran out of Israeli flags. I went down, got myself an Israeli flag, and I told myself, and I actually put a Facebook post up telling other folks to join me at the White House all right, to counter-protest this pro-terrorist, pro-Hamas rally. Okay, I didn't expect to be attacked. I, I wasn't going there to instigate because here in America, the supreme law of the land is the Constitution, and I can recall, and I do recall, that my First Amendment right is freedom of assembly, freedom of speech. I can express myself peacefully anywhere, and so do these Palestinians up there. I serve in order to protect those rights. Now, if I had been in Gaza City, Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself, but let me tell you something, Steve. Israel has a right to defend itself. Israel, the, pe the people in Israel, how do they feel secure when their neighbor to the south, Gaza, is governed by a terrorist organization, an organization that is, 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 is a terrorist organization recognized by multiple countries in the world, including the United States. These are the same people that use tactics as strapping a, a bomb jacket all right, on a Palestinian, taking him to Tel Aviv and blowing up, you know, let's say 17, 18 Israeli teenagers, innocent people, not military targets, and not the IDF, innocent people in a pizzeria, in a discotheque, in a movie theater, or, 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 or a bus, okay? The problem is the Palestinians are living under a dictatorship of Hamas. I don't care if it was a democratically elected, okay? Look how many times Saddam Hussein put up, you know, phony elections in one. Hamas is no different than Saddam Hussein ruling over the Iraqis for three decades. No different from Gaddafi ruling in Libya, from Assad in Syria, etc. Okay? Israel is not secure. When you have the rhetoric coming from Hamas saying that Israel should be wiped off the map, the Jews have to be driven to the sea. You know the, 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 the chant, and they heard, I heard it there. From the river to the sea, Palestine must be free. That is extermination. That is wrong. I stand in solidarity with the Israeli people. Apparently, this administration is not representing myself and millions of other Americans, and I wanted to make a point out there that I will be standing there in solidarity with the, Amer with the Jewish people, the Israeli people, not necessarily the Jewish, because listen to this. In Israel, I'm going to ask you a question. How many mosques do you find in Israel? Exactly. You will find many mosques within the borders of Israel. How many synagogues will you find in Gaza? Not that many. I, I, I don't think you'll find a synagogue in Gaza, period, Manny. Uh, exactly. And let me call you a sergeant, because that's what you deserve. Sergeant, um, so we know what your motivation was. You're not Jewish, obviously, and your motivation to stand with Israel. Explain uh, what, what it was like when you got there, and, and, and how many people were you with? Okay. First of all, I had made a call. I had made a, a Facebook post asking 
fellow patriots to come join me in Lafayette Square to counter protest. Unfortunately, you know, and, and it was broadcasted over Uncle Sam's misguided children radio, okay, and Uncle Sam's misguided children's website. And unfortunately, it was, you know, it, it was, it, how do I say this? I didn't have enough time to gather more people. Right, okay? so it was so just it was a handful of people and, and then no, the... No. No, no, absolutely not. I was the only one that showed up there. Now, the Israelis that were, you know, put in vans and, and taken away for their security, that's a different group. I wasn't associated with them. You understand? I had two people who were there, actually a Navy guy and two people. One of them was wearing an Israeli Defense Force shirt, and I believe a, a, a lady, and you see her, a nice young girl. You see her at, uh, you know, telling the police officer that they punched her. Yes. All right, I believe she was Israeli. Okay, she looked in Israeli. But anyhow, that's another point. Those people showed up, not part of the, the call that I made to counter protest. I showed up by myself. I took a cab from Union Station, and I got there to Lafayette Square. I unfurled my American flag first and the Israeli flag second. I had my American flag right on my right hand and the Israeli flag on my left hand. And I walked. I wasn't, you know, accosted. I wasn't assaulted by anybody then. I started healing. I started hearing the Nazis. And one of the things that they kept saying, how much are they paying you? How much are they paying you? I'm like, I wish I was getting paid, but I'm not. Okay, I'm here as a private American citizen showing solidarity with the people of Israel. So I was beginning to have a cordial conversation with some Palestinian supporters there. Now, I saw Egyptian flag. I saw the new Syrian flag. I saw the new Iraqi flag. Okay, a lot of Arabs are in support. A lot of Muslims, and you saw a lot of people who are non-Muslim as well in support of the Palestinian right and, and and how did the confrontation start where who, who you know when you were punched and spit on okay you see a gentleman with glasses sunglasses on and a white shirt okay he, I believe he's to the right of me as I'm facing away from the camera you can see my Israeli flag that I had tacked onto my jacket okay I was having a peaceful conversation talking yes of course heated because we we're in disagreement but I recognized that, and I believe they recognized that it was not going to be violent. Okay, this mob from behind me, coming from uh, what's the street called? Um, you, you know, you got Lafayette Square, and you got H Street. Okay, there's a road, a street that runs perpendicular to H Street on Lafayette Square, and they were coming there chanting "Allahu Akbar" and "From the river to the sea, Palestine must be free." Whatever. Okay. As soon as they saw my American flag and my Israeli flag, they came around me, surrounded me, and started yelling and yelling and yelling. It started getting hopped up real quick. This gentleman, all right, that I, you can see me in the video, telling, hey, don't you touch me, okay? Don't you touch me. He, they, he didn't hit me, but he put his fist, okay, and pressing up against the side of my ribs, okay? And I told you, don't you, don't you touch me. All right, and that's when it all, you know, went out of hand, and, and I got pulled on. I got kicked on by a guy in, in a green shirt. He actually hit my knee. He not only went once but twice, and he got to hit me in my knee on the second try. I got yanked on by this guy behind me, all right, and I got punched. You don't see it in the video, but I got punched in the back of the head with a fist. I honestly thought it was a bat. I got punched in the back of my head real hard, okay? And you can see me that I calmed down. I put my back behind a post. I, I could right. see I could see a sergeant wiping spit off of your face too. Yes, yes. Exactly. Uh, what do you what we, what do you we only have two minutes? What are you thinking for, while this is going on? You're a marine. You're an American. You you came there not to look for trouble. You came there as you said to to to, to exercise the the rights that you fought to maintain for this country. And this is happening to you. What's going through your mind? See, Steve, it saddens me. The state of our nation, the state of our union, is, is sad because. Here I am in America, in the nation's capital, where I should be protected of all places, protected to express my my dissent, all right, freely without fear of of, of of being hurt, or prosecuted, or persecuted, and I'm getting attacked. I would be lying to you right now if I told you that I wasn't shaking an hour later because I was scared. You don't know what might happen, but I put a stand up there. The adrenaline went away. After the adrenaline went away, my legs were shaking. Okay, we need more Americans to be loud. We need to show and get louder. These people organized. They had charter bus going in to pick up these ralliers. Okay, we need to get louder, America. Get off your butts and 
going and he throws this out there that's pro America and pro Israel because because you know if first is Israel they get rid of the little Satan the great Satan is next folks okay let's restore our nation to its to its original intent okay a constitutional republic and Sar Sergeant one lives. more sorry as far as you know anybody held accountable anybody arrested that hit you or spit on you. No, uh, you know, I was told to bring up charges, but who am I going to press charges on? I didn't know who it was. Right, right. S Sergeant, Sergeant, God bless you. God bless you for your service and for what you did yesterday, uh, Saturday, and for what you went through. We're behind you, and you know that. And thank you very much for taking the time, Sergeant Manny Vega. Thank you very much, Steve. My pleasure. All right, folks. Horrific story. Very brave, brave, brave man. We'll be back. Give Me Five is next.